Yo, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're doing something simple that pretty much a lot of people I know already know how to do it. I'm looking for something, but today we're gonna do an oil change in the car. So, I already got the car up and I'll show you the oil that I use and uh, I guess we'll just go step by step. All right, everybody. So this is the oil that I use, Royal Purple. It's a uh, synthetic oil. Uh, so, you know, uh, the 5.7 Hemi's, they take um, seven uh, quarts. So this is five and these are both one each. And I'm also going to use this uh, Marvel. It's a it's a oil additive uh, treatment for the oil, so that's what I'm gonna use that. So I, um, this is also good if you want to use uh, put a thing of this in your uh, your gas, so it uh, cleans out the cleans out get all that gunk out of there and the hoses or whatever. So that's pretty good. So I'm gonna use this also with with the oil when I put it in. And today we're also going to seafoam the uh, the engine through the intake. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So when, I'm not gonna. Uh, you can seafoam your oil, but after 250 uh, miles, your uh, check engine light will come on saying you need to change your oil again. So if you ever want to seafoam your oil, you can always just do it when you're about 250 miles away from changing doing a. Uh, oil change so I do mine like every 5,000 miles so about you know four four hundred I mean four thousand seven hundred fifty miles I'll put it in there so as soon as I hit the 5,000 mile uh, mark my engine check lights telling me hey change your oil and then boom I'm already doing the oil change anyway so that's that all right also forgot to grab the oil filter but here's the oil filter uh you can get these from dodge no walmart AutoZone, whatever you know just make sure you get the right one and uh so yeah this is i got this one from dodge i actually had a royal purple one on there right now i could probably reuse it but i'm just going to change it all out so i don't have to worry about it all right all right and also so I don't I didn't use jacks I used my little ramps so I got got the car up so I can get up underneath and I only use this there's only two so there's two of them you know just get the car up in the air so you can get underneath so I let the car warm up just a little bit now I got the took the oil cap off and uh, yeah, if you don't know what kind of oil you need, it's on your oil cap, you know, 5W20. And it's also on uh, one of these things right here. It's also on one of those, but uh, if you still have that, so if, you're, if your cap is faded, it's on one of these, if that's still on there. But I got this stuff on here, so yeah. Sorry, so that's on there that's going to make the airflow go quicker for it to come out and uh yeah we'll get up underneath the car all right you guys so here is your your oil uh pan and there's the bolt right there and there is your oil filter right there so they're pretty much right next to each other if you've never been down here now, most people will have their cover still. So you will have to take a few screws out, like right like right there, or like right around along here. But because I took mine off a, a while back, I was like, forget it, I'm not gonna use that anymore. So yeah, so oil pan, you're gonna unbolt, unbolt it right here. I believe I'll tell you I forgot I believe it's 12 or 13 maybe even 10 I'll let you know as soon as I start 
and then you got your oil filter right there so um i would say start with start by draining your oil and then once that's uh pretty much done just come over move your move your thing over so you can catch the oil out of there and then boom you can re like i said you can actually reuse this if you want i mean they have like you can go a while before you have to change these but i know a lot of people just the the comfort you know what i mean the, to ease your mind you can put a new one in but you don't necessarily have to do a new one every oil change you can do one every other oil change so yeah there's that all right all right so you guys know there is a that is a 13 millimeter bolt so now all you gotta do is just and it's already loose and then you might definitely want some gloves because it is definitely gonna get messy here in a second and I probably should have kept going with the uh, the boat but it's all good just want to get it I'm sorry y'all but there you go oh yeah that's why you want gloves because you are it's gonna get you and yeah just let that drain in there Oh crap. All right, so when you're doing your oil change, please make sure the drain at the bottom of your pan is open so you don't do what I just did stupidly and had a oil spill. So yeah, don't do that. Make sure that's open at the bottom before you do that. Cause you get stuff like that and you look really really stupid like me right now i look really really stupid all right all right y'all so now that now that's all we gotta get right there me trying to get up under here So we gotta pull our thing over. Oh. Just turn it. Oh, sorry. crap <laughs> all right hold on all right so now that's done everything's drained you got your oil filtered like i say you can reuse it if you want to but you can put in a new one you don't have to put in a new one right away but it is uh it is always better it's always up to you. Those, those can go for a while. All right. Oh crap! All right. So now, what you're gonna do is gonna wipe that down. So, so you got a clean uh, surface. Also, you want to wipe that down right there. Then re uh, put your bolt in. Then put your new filter in. 
All right, so now with your filter, right before you put it in, you wanna put just a little bit of oil inside. Just a little bit, that much. And you get this right here, a little oil on your hand. Put that on the rubber seal right there. So it helps it out. Lubricate that rubber seal, just like that. And you are ready to put this bad boy in there. All right, now that everything's tightened back up, oil filters in, oil plug is in. Now it's time to go ahead and put the oil in the, in the engine. All right, so I put one quart in of the uh, Royal Purple. And now I'm gonna add the, the additive in there. All right, you guys, so now filled with oil, everything's tightened down. Now it's time to start her up, check for leaks, which unfortunately I have an oil spill already, but that's because I did that stupid stuff, but we have to make sure it's not leaking while the engine's on, all right? Ugh. Exactly how you want it. All right. So that's the oil change. Now I'm time to sea foam this baby. All right, guys. So I got the sea foam. I was gonna use a stupid straw thing, but it's not working for some reason. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna shoot it in to the intake, just like that. So, but you gotta start the car up first. So, it's gonna spray it into the intake. I just turned the engine off and just tightened the um, uh, cold air intake up back to the um, throttle body. So now it says wait 10, 15 minutes for it to soak up. And then after that, we should see a lot of smoke coming out of the tailpipe. And if this, uh, if it worked, it should clean all that uh, old, uh, debris up in there make it flow a little bit better so until then just hold on for you it'll be a few seconds for me it's going to be like 10 15 minutes all right y'all so now 15 minutes is up now it's time to start the car up
smoky. Little smoky, smoky. smoke like that for a while uh, give it a let it run for like five ten minutes then I'll go around block probably get on the freeway drive it a little crazy and probably go wash wash her up so. yeah man that is uh, that's gonna be it for the rest for this video y'all see foamed all changed everything's good no leaks so y'all know how I end these things off please uh, you know like subscribe hit that notification bell also go ahead and follow me on uh, the Instagram on the gram can y'all see it right there on the gram and uh, till next time man till next video Peace.